Hey guys, it's Jeff again with Jailbreak Movies. This is Jailbreak Movies mobile site, just in case you weren't aware that we had a mobile site, what we do. Uh, it is formatted, you know, to fit your iPhone, so it's really easy to navigate. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you Safari Download Manager. Now, Safari Download Manager is from the Coconuts. No doubt you know who they are, the people who brought you your Tube 2, the people who brought you uh, things like Mark Red and the upcoming Celeste, which is highly anticipated. Um, so, you know it's quality. You know, the Coconuts is synonymous with quality. Um, so, basically what Safari Download Manager does, once it's installed, you'll notice this little option here. And that brings up your Download Manager, shows all your downloads and whatnot. Now the good thing about Safari Download Manager is that it allows you to download things that normally Safari doesn't interpret. For instance, this firmware, um, if you go to the download section on Jailbreak Movies, you'll notice all the iPhone and the iPad firmware is available for download here. So let me just uh, select the iPad, for instance, 4.3. Alright, now you'll notice that pop-up menu that comes up. Uh, and it allows you to either just download it or you can specify the location where you would like to download this. So let's specify the location. And then it will bring up another menu and you can navigate through here. So I can go all the way out, find a location, I'll store it in my documents, how about that? What about firmware? So I already created a folder earlier, but you can tap this plus button to create a new folder. But I already created a firmware folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And then you'll notice the badge here that indicates that there is a current download in progress. So you just tap that and you can see your download and you can see it work right there. Now as far as viewing the content, Safari Download Manager is not a viewer. You will need something like iFile which allows you to uh, view your downloaded files. So iFile and Safari Download Manager work in tandem to provide you with just unparalleled access to your iPhone. Um, the file structure and to be able to download files that you normally would not be able to download without a jailbroken iPhone. So Safari Download Manager is a highly recommended jailbreak tweak. It allows you to uh, download all types of files really and uh, it really makes your iPhone that much more usable especially as like a mobile PC. Another nice feature of Safari Download Manager is in the settings app. You'll notice the settings section for Safari Download Manager. You just tap that and then you can either enable or disable Safari Downloader. Now, there's a section here for file types, and what this allows you to do is disable or enable certain file types for download. For instance, on media, you can enable all these different types of media types, um, and you can even add your own custom file type. If there's a specific file that you want to download that you want Safari Download Manager to recognize, and it's not by default, just add your own. How about that? Now, what about auto retry settings? Well, there's some auto retry on failed download attempts. That's a nice provision. And then there's a max concurrent download, so it doesn't use up all your bandwidth when, when downloading. So as you can see, the uh, developers were really thoughtful as far as the options were concerned. So understandably, Safari Download Manager is not a free uh, jailbreak tweet, uh, considering its quality. It will run you $2 on the uh, Cydia store, but I think that's, you know, that's a, a fair amount for um, something that gives you so much flexibility when it comes to downloading files. But you let me know what you think about Safari Download Manager. Do you use it often or do you not use it as much as you thought you may have? This is Jeff with jailbreakmovies.com.